Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and to this short time-lapse version of my little landscape demo with a cow in it. I've painted this as a small demo for my patrons so if you'd like to access the full-length demo and paint along with me do check me out over on Patreon. So I've been experimenting a lot with landscapes recently and one thing that helps me a lot is to keep the scale of my painting pretty small. That's helping me a lot to find another way to make marks, another way to capture things without having to go into detail. And my temptation is always to go into detail. So when I'm painting landscapes these days, I'm often painting quite small paintings just to keep my level of detail under control and to encourage me to loosen up and find other mark making styles that I can work in. So this was another one of these slightly more experimental um, landscapes for me. I'm still pretty new to working in this style where you block in most of the paper to begin with. So rather than working on one area at a time, you more or less try to build up the whole picture together. And I find that also really helps me to try and uh, speed up and not get caught up in tiny details. So I'm using mostly my Unison pastels here, but also a few Terry Ludwigs thrown in. But if you're ever working along with me, you can use whatever brand of pastels you've got. I normally share the full colour lists. Some of my tutorials have the colour codes popping up as I'm working so that you can colour match and try to find something within your own collection. So you can always substitute for slightly different colours and you'll still be able to work along with me. So this month I'm feeling a bit inspired by the outdoors and I live in a very beautiful area. This little scene is literally right outside my gate. I live in a very lovely mountain. And so I have animals and beautiful landscape all around me as inspiration. And that's why this month over on Patreon I've decided to... Whether I stick with cows or not, I don't know. But uh, there are so many lovely animals roaming free around me here. So I've started the month with this little cow demo. I've got another very different style of portrait up next of a gorgeous little calf who I photographed outside my gate. And to contrast with this demo, I'm going to do the little calf portrait as a close-up, more detailed style of portrait. So it's mostly just the, the calf's beautiful little face. So in that one, it'll feel very different because I will go into detail I will create the lovely texture of the fur of the calf. So I'm really enjoying having one toe in both of those worlds at the minute. One where I go into my usual lovely detail and get every little mark on the animal. And then this other style that I'm trying to develop, which helps me capture a full scene much quicker. And because I live surrounded by such beautiful scenery, it's really motivated me to try and work on some other styles that I can use to capture this beautiful landscape around me. So my next mission is to take this outside and to do some plein air. But over the last year, I feel like I've been prepping myself a little, painting some of the Spanish landscape that I'm surrounded with. Of course, coming from Ireland, I'm used to very green coloured landscapes. Most of the landscapes that I've painted up until now have been Irish. And although there is a lot of green in this particular photo reference that I'm working from, there's definitely a very different palette down here in the south of Spain. And I'm enjoying trying to get to grips with that different lighting, different palette that I need to paint the landscape down here. So you can see with my landscape, 
it's pretty suggestive. And the further back into the composition we go, the less detail I try to add. And now the main focus of my little demo is the cow. But again, I did want to try and create the cow using a bit less detail. You can see from the scale that the pastel pencils are quite useful to get that lovely point. And I definitely used some pastel pencil here just to try and get some edges a bit better to neaten things up a little bit. But at the same time, I really wanted to try and capture the cow a little bit more suggestively. So I really enjoy working smaller because it challenges me to figure out a way to capture something using less detail. Having that limitation of size, I just not allowing myself enough room for detail really helps break me out of my usual habits of painting. And so I'm still using the bigger sticks mostly on the cow, even though she is pretty small. But I'm going for those bigger marks, trying to block in bigger areas of colour. I'm certainly not looking for individual hairs or looking too much at the texture of the fur. Down the front of the face I can perhaps find a bit more detail. But for the majority of the animal, I'm just trying to block it in and just hint at some of the details. And this will contrast so much with the next little study that I'm doing, which is the close-up of a calf. And it'll be really nice to compare these two paintings because... In my picture of the calf, it's going to be super detailed. We're much closer to the animal. The animal's face will fill the picture pretty much. And that's an entirely different challenge. What worried me about painting a cow on this scale was trying to get the, the face to look right. Uh, especially that tiny little eye, which you can see I've left it for quite a long time. So over the next few months, I'd really like to get out and about the mountain where I live and paint some more landscapes. We have so many animals roaming free in the mountains here as well. We've got goats, these beautiful cows, rich red colour and um, the horns also left intact because the, uh, the female cows here obviously need to defend their babies from other animals. So they're left with the horns. But we've got sheep and goats and um, lots of vultures in this mountain as well. So a lot of inspiration around me. I just need to get out there now. Um, I've been working on my landscapes over the last year or so. And now I would like to start and incorporate more animals into my landscapes. So I very much started out painting animals and now I would like to sneak some of those animals into my landscapes and like I did with my own little dog's portraits, um, Lola the Bodeguero. I've painted her many times, using her also to practice painting animals tiny. Because of course when you put a full body animal in a landscape Unless you paint the landscape quite big, the animal within the composition is probably going to be quite small. And I think I ended up adding a bit more detail on the cow than I actually intended to, but I hoped that the level of detail on her would look right by the end when I get some of the, the details in the foreground on the grass, on the beautiful meadow. And it's exactly this time of year at the moment where we get lots of little wild flowers dotted about the grass. Well, we, we get grass at this time of the year because down here generally everything is pretty scorched for a lot of the year. But after the rainy season, 
all the grass comes, the little flowers all bloom. It's really beautiful at this particular time of the year. And I took this photo reference a year or two ago and have been meaning to paint it. And each day that I go out with my dog Lola to walk, I'm faced with little scenes like this, especially at the moment. So it inspired me this month to get on and paint some of the, the beautiful scenes that I'm surrounded with here. So if you'd like to have a go at something like this along with me, do come and check me out over on Patreon. I've got all sorts of different demos over there. If you're more into working in lots of detail, more, more detailed close-up studies of animals, I've been doing that type of work for many years and I've got tons of tutorials already like that. And then at the moment I'm really trying to add a lot of variety to my tutorials with some different styles like this. Basically whatever I'm trying to work on as an artist myself, I'm sharing that entire process over on Patreon. So whether you're with me and trying to expand your own style or whether you just want to pick up some different ideas and different tips, I really hope that these other types of demos that I'm doing are also really useful and helpful, especially if you're trying to find your own style in painting. And sometimes it's easy to feel a little bit caught between styles. I often feel that way with my landscapes because I have the desire to add detail. And sometimes you get a little bit caught in the middle of a detailed painting and a loose painting. But there's no right or wrong, really. I'm just feeling my way into finding a different style that I can work with for landscapes. And I hope that these videos that I release, where perhaps I'm not completely in my comfort zone, I hope that these are also very helpful to those of you who are experimenting as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed seeing this speedy version here on YouTube. I also have lots of real-time tutorials and videos here on YouTube. So please do check out my other playlists. And if you enjoy any of that, then please do hit the subscribe button on my channel. And then if you'd like even more, do remember to go and check me out over on Patreon. I'll add some links at the end of the video. So a lot of fun to work on this little demo. I hope that you like the finished painting. But thanks very much for watching this here. And until next time, happy pastling.